Hello everybody and welcome back to Griffin Indiana. So we have just finished harvesting three contracts. And yeah, I've used two, no, three uh, harvesters. My own case and two least ones. And yeah, this is, the, I think this is the biggest field on Griffin Indiana. And of course, I did this contract the day before we got that crazy harvester. <laughs> now you know we got this what is called colossus uh this guy here which can hold 72,000 liter i'm really hoping this guy here is coming on sale then i'm you know then i'm i'm, I'm gonna take up a loan this is perfect for griffin indiana so yeah um it's finished and as you can see we have a lot of straw and this is not the only um, no 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 don't this is not the only field with straw um, but <laughs> I'm not gonna pick up all of this I'm or I already have like 400,000 liter with loose straw so I think I'm more or less good um, I also had straw on this one but this um, I completed the contract for wheat so yeah that's why the straw disappeared uh, but we also got uh, some straw here so <laughs> I think maybe I'm gonna pick up this straw here and put in my silo um, yeah as I mentioned earlier uh, there's a couple of things you can do with straw now uh, which can make you uh, a lot of money you know you can make manure out of it you can also make some straw hats now actually uh, but yeah so contracts wise um, do, 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 do. where are we there buddy there we go so I got these two oat contracts and the biggest one uh, field number one that is you know progressing as i'm delivering whilst this one field 14 i've delivered at least one load but it's still sitting at 80 percent that's the uh, tricky part with having two similar contracts going at once so let's see if this one will complete one of the contract come on i need a whole lot of extra here now Uh, 80% transported for field 1. What? Nothing on field 14? Okay. Alright, I got one more trailer. Oh man, I thought that would... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna make some money on the contract himself. But yeah, and this one has 166,000 liter in it. So now at least both of the contracts should be finalized. And I should get some extra money here. Come on, buddy. There we go. Contract 1 finished. Uh, contract 14 finished. Alright, the rest is bonus. 52,000 oh yeah and almost 7,000 in environmental score Ooh, all right not too shabby um, so yeah straw wise um, yeah oh, honey uh, are going good uh, we're also gonna make some hay out of this little field today I need some hay for my TMR mixer. Uh, but yeah, straw wise, I think I'm just gonna use the same as before. I'm gonna use this guy here. There we go, straw barn, pipe out. Uh, let's see now. Um, I think I can just complete this contract. Yeah, let's uh, let's complete this one and see what happens. 
The store's gonna disappear. That's field number one. I'm gonna complete that one. Yeah. 8,000 in leasing cost. Oh man, I could have leased the uh, the new Colossal for that. Man. Doot. There we go. Oh no! And I lost the harvester. <laughs> well, there we go. Money is going up. And yeah. What else? What else? Yeah, so I think maybe we're gonna spend some of this money today. Uh, the thing I'm looking at is a production facility which came out uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, let's see, was it Yas? I think maybe it was Yas. Yas, not Yas. Uh, this guy here, the straw processing, which will make straw hats or straw ca uh, boxes or something like that. Um, I, I need to find a place where to put it. There is a placeable area uh, here, actually. I think it's a little bit expensive. Uh, some of these plots here are also for sale. Let's check that one behind the dairy here. Uh, let's see. That's the dairy. No. That's the dairy. Okay. Um... Yeah, this one here, nine thousand. Let's uh, let's jump to this one here again. Uh, we might fit it in here. Um, it's gonna be tight. Land is not owned by you. Yeah, I know where are the triggers. Let's see, we got a water trigger there. We got this trigger there. You know, we might put it down like so, but it's gonna cost me eighty thousand. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, all right, I'll see. I'll see. Uh, I don't have that much um, things to sell. I got some grapes, um, and yeah, I'm I'm having some big problems with my field. I have a big problem with my field. I don't know what's going on. I think it might be something with the map. Uh, I've um, checked with my last episode. I've double checked it. And yeah, there's something suspicious going on here. Uh, that's for sure. Let me just drive this one up here and I'll try to explain. So, uh, yeah, my big problem, my big problem is on my field here, only half of the field is growing. Let's uh, jump over here and get into the air. Uh, <laughs> all of this is of course weeds which I need to um, remove I think I can do it with a mechanical weeder because they are still uh, tiny bits babies uh, but only half of the field is growing with soybeans and not this part so what I did I went back and watched my last episode and I did myself, the first couple of strips here, I, I did myself. And then I hired a worker with the TLX. You can watch the episode uh, around 25 minutes. Uh, I hired the TLX Phoenix to do the rest. And he started around here. So he did the re remaining field. But yeah, <laughs> it's not growing. <sighs> So yeah, that's that's gonna be a big problem um, because we are doing seasons and we are in July and yeah, I'm not in the planting season of anything. What I could do is I could plow it all up and wait until August and then plant some um, canola. But then I need to wait 
all the way to June next year to uh, not July actually to harvest that one so what I think I'm gonna do since this is soybeans um, I'm hoping that I can um, you know harvest this in October November and then I can plant some winter wheat or barley in October so I think that's gonna be my uh, the plan but yeah this this has to do with the map I didn't do anything wrong <laughs> and it's not the cedars you know the cedars were working here but not here and yeah but anyway I, at least I can do is to remove the weeds uh, so we're gonna lease ourselves a mechanical weeder uh, but first of all I'm gonna take you know what I'm gonna take one load with straw Looking at my in interior, so to speak, I have over 400,000 liter with straw. Uh, but yeah, one load, 180,000 liter. That that's gonna do it for straw for the next couple of years, I think. So now I have enough um, straw, 600,000 liter of straw, that should do it. Uh, but now weeder. <laughs> weeder, weeder. So I've looked at on weeders, I don't have any mods actually on weeders. Uh, but I'm, I'm thinking this guy here. This is the biggest in-game one, this should be do the work and uh, let's see what I haven't looked at is uh, where's the help window again which I never use actually <laughs> uh, where is weeding um, mm, 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 all right. there weed control we could draw us read about you can blah 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 you can save money on herbicide but spray sea sprayers yeah um da, 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 da. that no that's weeds true that's only true spot spraying normal weeds doesn't say anything about normal weeds <laughs> or normal weeders mechanical weeders all right okay um i'm just i'm gonna lease it there is um this guy here which is also a cedar for you know grass and canola i think it is yeah uh, but this one is bigger but requires less horsepower yeah you know what i'm gonna lease this one for 2000 let's fire up this guy I'm guessing I need a waiter. There we go. Let's unfold this guy and see how it looks. Ooh. Ooh. All right. All right. There we go. Always nice to try something new. <laughs> ooh, ooh. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you up at the field. All right, let's see how this bad boy works. Uh, my score on the field is pretty good actually. And now I have the slim tires on, so I shouldn't be you know ruining my soybeans. Uh, but yeah, looking at the score on this field, 98. So it's more or less perfect. And the overall score on my whole map is 94. 
So I, I'm pretty sure when I start to mow this grass here, these two also will go up and we are getting more bonus. Let's see, let's see. Come on, this has to work now. Or else I need to leave myself um, see and spot prayer. Prayer. <laughs> Sprayer. Let's see, do I need to turn it on? No? Alright. Come on, buddy. Uh, what? Uh, okay. Let's check the map here. Let's go over to weeds. Oh, there we go. Look at all the weeds. And the weeds are baby weeds. You know, they are small. And I can hire a worker. Uh, but the weeds doesn't <laughs> disappear. What's going on here? Weed medium. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. So, okay, mechanical weeder doesn't work on medium weeds. I need to lease myself one of those... Sea and spot sprayers. Oh man, this is why I never do weeds. I never get it right. Oh man. <laughs> Shoot. I thought these were baby small weeds. But apparently these are medium. Alright, okay, that was that was a waste of money right there. Okay, I need to go back and we need to get ourselves, um, I think I'm just going to find the cheapest one. Let's lift this up and <laughs> let's throw out some more money. Oh, there we go. That's strange. You know, hair is not growing, but, you know, I've been, uh, uh, apparently I went a little bit over on this field. And here it's growing with soybeans. <laughs> wow, he's got some really serious weeds. All right. Hey. All right. Now this should work. <laughs> I know my voice seems a little bit irritated, uh, but I am. Uh, let's see. So, I leased myself a uh, Quirnland C and Spot Sprayer. It was a pricey affair, that's for sure. Uh, so, this one here, the sprayer and the front tank, cost me around 4000 to lease. Nothing in used vehicles. Um, so, yeah, the, these two guys here. Uh, so this one you just need to be aware if you're doing it you need to change this to yes that's gonna put on 39,000 to the price <laughs> and I also put it on 28 meters like so so this was like yeah 4,000 to lease okay come on buddy this should work get rid of those weeds even though um, even though if you look on the blue bars underneath uh, 98 there uh, the third line which is weed control weed control is on 100% uh, but if I walk out here I got some weed medium and where I have actually some growth and weeds that's gonna tell me yeah expected yield 113% Hmm, alright, alright. Now you might say, you know what, I'm, I'm not gonna start here. <laughs> I'm gonna start where I actually have some crops. <laughs> I don't need to remove that weed, I'm just thinking if the, the um, uh, if I'm using all this herbicide on that empty space over there, uh, I should prioritize uh, the weeds here, of course. 
All right, all right. Let's see now, buddy. Let's turn you on. And there we go. Cruise control on. There we can see his spot spraying here and there. And he's not using a lot of. Uh, he's using. Uh, look at it. 2753. Oh man, that yeah, that's. <laughs> I'm gonna use like 50 liter on the whole field here. Let's see, can we hire a worker? Boop. There we go. Oh, oh we got some more. And now, let's check the uh, soil map. Uh, there we go. So now we got brown weeds, which means they are dead. I think. Let's jump out there. Um, let's go to the good soil uh, over here and let's see if the 113 is still, yeah, still, expect the deal, 113. Hmm, so why do I get rid of the weeds? Didn't do anything with the expected yield and this one, this is on full. So yeah, <laughs> why am I doing this? <laughs> Why am I actually removing this uh, weeds? All right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna let this guy do the whole thing, just you know, to get rid of everything. You know what? Let's fire the worker here and let's see if it actually. No, it doesn't remove the weeds. Strangely, but it's it should turn brown. I thought. Let's see, I'm crashing here now. Uh, let's check this one again. No, why is he not removing this weed? Oh man, I'm I'm. <laughs> Think positive, Yelsa. Think positive. He's definitely spraying on the weeds. That's for sure. Uh, but they are not turning brown. There's something really special about this feeler. Let's see if my worker can do anything better. Let's see. Let's bam, hire a worker. And he's spraying like he's crazy over here. Okay, does it turn brown? No. So only where I actually have soybeans growing. You know what? Let's... Um, Let's do some experiment here now. Let's uh, just jump straight in here. Let's turn on the weeder like so. Oh, here you can see the weeds are actually uh, being removed. It's a little bit difficult to see, but yeah. Let's see, over here you can see those light green things just in front of me there. And boop, they disappear. And they get brown hair, but. <laughs> but the weeds over here is not getting removed. Even though I'm spraying it and the herbicide is going down. Uh, but nothing happens there. This has got to do something with the feel. I, I I don't see what I'm doing wrong here, buddies. All right, okay. I need I need uh, I need five minutes. <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, line him up here, I guess. And it's on. Let's hire a worker. And yeah, I was doing everything perfect on this field. I got a perfect score, everything, but now everything is ruined. 
<sighs> so it's time to do some grass work, uh, which I probably can. You know, I like doing grass work. So what I've done, I bought myself the uh, John Deere mower. What's it called again? Uh, the John Deere HX20. Uh, Jeep Charlie, 15,000 to buy. So I can run that one with my Ford. And on the back here, this is like an experiment. <laughs> so on the front here, I have a wind roller, which will wind roll the grass. And on the back here, I have a um, tether. It's not the hay bob, but it's... Um, so what I'm hoping is that um, yeah, this will wind roll and this will make some hay on the back. I know there are some more fancy equipment that you can use. Um, I'm really hoping and I'm waiting for this guy here, you know, to come on use the equipment. But this is still a little bit too heavy on the price for me. Uh, because this one, together with this header here, that's going to make it 125,000. Uh, you can make hay in one go. And there's probably also other ways of making hay in one go. Uh, but I thought um, I'm, I'm going to test out something. So, and also now, I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to my score here. I know it's getting a little bit too much position farming, but these scores here now, 66 and 65, should improve as I am mowing now. Let's see, let's lower that one down. This is a great mower. It's been a while since I used it. And the great thing about this one is um, if you're not using it as a, a mower, you can always go into the workshop and you can reconfigure it as a mulcher. So I can always, I can, you know, I can use it on my field after harvesting and to mulch up the stubs, so to speak. And I need, oh, I need to check the prices on honey. You know, it's the middle of the summer time. Uh, maybe honey is uh, it's a good time to sell in July. Wow, this is a quick one also. Let's see. Uh, let's see if um, the environmental score has improved any. All right, 66 and 65. Oh man, hoochie mama. 93 and 91 <laughs> there we go and the environmental score on the map uh, is now 96 and my bonus is now 14 percent oh yeah now we're talking i think the maximum you can have is 15 percent bonus so yeah, that, that's going to be a lot uh, when we come to the autumn and winter time when I'm going to sell all my pellets. So yeah, so yeah, I'm, uh, let's uh, let's get this uh, grass into the ground and let's try to make some uh, hay. All right, the mowing part is finished. Uh, my baler is ready, and now let's see if we can make some hay here, buddy. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's see. I know there is also a bigger one of these guys. Um, if you haven't used these for, I'm usually using uh, this big boy here. Uh, this is 10 meters, and it's only requiring 20 horsepower. Uh, but this one here, you know, it's a little bit more, yeah, it's smaller, but yeah, it's not that heavy. I think this is going to be too heavy, uh, but anyhow, we are here. Uh, let's lower this one. Uh, let's lower that one. Let's turn on the tether. Let's go in the front. Let's turn on this one. Uh, let's see what's coming out in the back. 
Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, wow. This is... So this is the uh, cheap, jolly, hobo way of uh, making hay. And I watched into contracts and the only type of contract we have is um, is silage, silage contract. No hay contracts, of course, with my luck. It's a, oh man, it's, mm, okay. Uh, the spot is pretty wide, but anyway, this isn't a big field. So, you know, I can just go over with my bailer here and there. <laughs> you know, normally you would tet everything first and then windrow it, so you get a perfect line, but the, these lines here are a little bit heavy and wide for the bailer, maybe. But anyway, something different to do, you know. So I'm gonna bail it, uh, do, 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 and if I don't see any more contracts popping up, uh, I think I'm gonna see you in August. Yeah. And uh, I only need to. Oh, how's the how's this one now? This is nitrogen. Okay, pH okay. Uh, this is good, good. Hmm. Yeah, so I probably just need to put a layer with fertilizer on it and let it regrow. Can you hire a worker with this? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it had to come. Of course, uh, we got a <laughs> we got the cultivating contract on the big field on field number one. So I've leased the equipment and I've hired a worker. So he's he's gonna be busy uh, throughout uh, August. I think it pays out pretty good. Uh, well, with that buddy, um, cultivating thirty eight thousand, and I'm also taking on a bailing contract. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, why you probably say, uh, first of all, it's for hay. I'm gonna need some hay, so I'm guessing we're gonna get some, you know, uh, bonus, um, extra hay. And I'm gonna do it a little bit of my way. <laughs> and with that said, first of all, it's on field 33. So that's the uh, biggest grass field. That's this one here. So I know we're going to get a lot of bales um, extra, but what I'm going to do, I'm not, I'm not going to use this one and I'm not going to use this one. This is the tether and this is the wind rower. I'm going to use a small machine that does both of those two machines. <laughs> and you probably saw it uh, before. Uh, I think I showed it in one of my videos. Let's see. I need to go... Is it tether or window? Yeah, this guy here. So I'm gonna... You know what? This this one I can use. And you know what? This one I'm gonna buy. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna jump into this one. Uh, how did I do? Uh, I need the. F uh, yeah, I'm gonna need. <laughs> I'm gonna need one more piece of equipment. I'm gonna need the lizard front lifter also. I'm gonna buy that also. I'm gonna need that for other things. Oh no, I already have one. I have one on my lizard forage pickup. All right, all right. I'm. Um, Pouring out my money again. 
But anyway, so this is gonna make uh, life easier with the hay bailing contract. You know, I just wondered uh, about that uh, cultivator. And looking at this waiter, you know, this is for fast farming. Can we put this waiter in between these two guys? He's struggling at 15 kilometers now. You know what? I'm gonna fire you, buddy. I'm gonna do like so, and I'm gonna bring over a weight for you, so maybe you can do this a little bit faster. Yeah, let's try that. Oop. All right, let's see here, buddy, if we can help you out a little bit. Uh, let's try this guy here. Uh, yeah, can just connect it, and then disconnect that one. Get you out of there. You know, it's not everything that, you know, this weight is working with, but I think this should work. <laughs> let's, let's have a look here, buddy. Let's see if we can have a nice Saturday afternoon here. And boom, hire a worker. Let's see how fast he can go. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're talking 24, 25 kilometers an hour. <laughs> All right, buddy. You're gonna do it in half the time. Uh, what else? Oh yeah. Uh, I'm experiencing in this area here a lot of lagging, and I think it's because of all my bales. And yeah, now we're gonna get more bales uh, out of that contract. So I'm just gonna make some TMR here for my boys or my women. So what I'm gonna test now is um, can we put these bales here into my silo? You know, to reduce the amount of bales on the map and also the lagging because yeah, I'm, it's really lagging in this area here. So let's uh, hope for the best here that this um, my multi fruit silo can also take bail bales. Come on, buddy, suck it in. Oh, now I got a DJ Woo. I've tried this before, and it, and it worked. <laughs> and I got I got nothing in. I got 65,000 liter with grass. No silage. Uh, say what? Oh, there we go, 6,000 liter with silage. Let's try one more. And just be sure that it doesn't turn into grass. <laughs> I don't think so. Because then I can just uh, use my... Um... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's take two. That's 12,000 liter. Um, then I can just use uh, my TMR mixer underneath there. What did I say? We had 6,000 liter with silage plus 12,000, that's 18,000. Yeah, all right, it's working. Perfect. So then I can get rid of some bales here. Yeah, or do we need to test anything more here before I go really bananas? I don't think so, because I, yeah, this is gonna work, I'm pretty sure. Uh, pellet production, oh gee mama, uh, 168,000 liter of pellets, and going up. Oh, I'm so looking forward to uh, the price that's going up. This TMR mixer here is great, but sometimes it doesn't... Yeah, you can see now that uh, the silage bales hasn't completely um, mixed in. So what you need to do sometimes is just to give it a little bit of a jiggle. I like to jiggle jiggle. 
<laughs> so if I go in here now uh, and just grab a little, oh, grab a little bit of the silage bale and just jiggle, 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 jiggle. Uh, there we go. Now you can see it's going down. Instead of dropping it in, you should actually hold it in the air like so. But anyway, yeah, the reason why I bought it, it's because it's really cheap. Uh, one of the cheapest uh, TMR mixers out there in the market. Let's see the buddies, are you hungry? There we go. Oh, I haven't checked milk production. 10,000 liters of the milk, they are full with TMR, all happy. Disconnect this one, and let's jump to this one. Yeah, so here we go. This is the big field. Oh, it's fully growth, and expected yield 64%. But yeah, so this is uh, this is my rich way of doing um, um, hay. <laughs> Let's see, and I need to turn on tether, lower tether. Oop. So instead of doing it the cheap Charlie way earlier on my field, you know, now I can do it like this. And I can hire a worker. Boop. Like so. And then I can jump into this guy and grab myself the baler. And we should be good to go. Look at this Speedy Gonzalez. Oh man, he's really going at it. 28. <laughs> All right, good work, buddy. Good work. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. It's a little bit frustrating with the weeds. Weed control. Oh man. All right, and that my feel actually is in really bad shape, even though I've done everything perfect. It says here that I have soybeans all over the field, you know, but I, when I go into grow stage, <laughs> only my half of the field is growing. Oh, that's potatoes. Oh, remove foliage. Oh, that's going to be a potato contract. Ay, ay, ay. This should be ready to harvest. Do I have any more interesting contracts? Harvesting field 30. More oats to the train station. No. No, no, no. I'm not taking that. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, straw production, uh, hat, straw hat production. Uh, we'll have to wait until the next episode, I think. It's going to set me back 70,000, but we're going to get some money for these contracts. So I'll uh, I'll see you the next time. And I'm holding up. I'm holding up with honey, with grapes, with pellets. And we're just waiting, uh, you know, until the autumn and winter drops in to get those right prices the price is right so what do I need here I need the baler and I think I'm gonna put it on the biggest bales uh, yeah 240 let's go big alright I'm gonna open myself a barley water and I'm gonna do some bailing. Thanks for watching and bye bye.